Fellow Ghanaians, I've come into your homes again this evening to provide an update, as I promised, on the measures taken by government to combat the coronavirus pandemic. You may recall that on Wednesday, 12th March 2020, when I first spoke to you directly on this matter, I announced the first raft of enhanced measures taken in response to the pandemic. At the time, there had been no reported confirmed case of the coronavirus in Ghana. Since then, six confirmed cases have been announced, all of persons who recently traveled into the country. Advisories on how to manage the developments have also been announced by the Ministries of Health and Information. Public education is being intensified to ensure that citizens are well advised on preventive measures. Earlier today, Sunday, the 15th of March, 2020, I chaired a meeting of the Interministerial Committee on Coronavirus Response. After deliberations, I've decided in the interest of public safety and the protection of our population, to review the public gathering advisories early announced as follows. Firstly, all public gatherings, including conferences, workshops, funerals, festivals, political rallies, sporting events, and religious events such as services in churches and mosques, have been suspended for the next four weeks. Private burials are permitted, but with limited numbers, not exceeding 25 in attendance. Secondly, all universities, senior high schools, and basic schools, i.e. public and private schools, will be closed Monday, 16th of March, 2020, till further notice. The Minister of Education, in collaboration with the Ministry of Communication, has been tasked to roll out distance learning programs. However, BECE and WASI candidates will be allowed to attend school to prepare for their examinations, but with the prescribed social distancing protocols. Thirdly, the Government of Ghana's Travel Advisory, issued earlier today, should be observed as announced. Fourthly, businesses and other workplaces can continue to operate, but should observe prescribed social distancing between patrons and staff. Fifthly, establishments such as supermarkets, shopping malls, restaurants, nightclubs, hotels and drinking spots should observe enhanced hygiene procedures by providing, amongst others, hand sanitizers, running water and soap for washing of hands. Sixthly, the Minister of Transport should work with the transport unions and private and public transport operators to ensure enhanced hygienic conditions in all vehicles and terminals by providing, amongst others, hand sanitizers, running water and soap for washing of hands. And seventhly, the Minister of Local Government and Rural Development should coordinate with the Metropolitan, Municipal and District Assemblies measures to enhance conditions of hygiene in markets across the country. Additionally, as the experts conduct contact tracing, I appeal to all to cooperate with them to ensure that persons who have come into contact with positive cases are identified and supported. I've directed the Attorney General to submit immediately to Parliament emergency legislation in accordance with Article 21, 4 C and D of the Constitution of the Republic to embody these measures. And I've further directed the Minister for Health to exercise his powers under Section 169 of the Public Health Act 2012, Act 851 by the immediate issuance of an executive instrument
to govern the relevant profess. I call upon Parliament to support the executive in this national endeavor. As I said earlier, there's every need to observe prescribed social distancing and good personal hygiene to prevent community spread. We are determined to do whatever we can to prevent the spread of the virus and protect the population. All the measures that have been announced will be subject to constant review and enhancement if necessary. Fellow Ghanaians, these are not ordinary times. So let us all put our shoulders to the wheel. And I'm confident that together, by the grace of God, we shall overcome this challenge. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.